Hello YouTube, welcome to this tutorial. It's actually my first one in years, so I, I hope you like it. Well, uh, recently I was on a forum on Facebook and people were lamenting about the fact that Bitwig does not have an MSEC or multiple stage envelope. And while I absolutely love Bitwig, I do agree that this is something which is uh, missing or would be a great addition uh, to Bitwig's modulation sources. Now, there are a few workarounds and one is to use a dedicated uh, third-party plugins plugin which uh, can generate uh, CV signals and uh, this, this works well enough but recently I was in I was looking at serum and it's beautiful LFOs and was wondering if there is a way I can use these LFOs as modulation sources uh, for Bitwig and then it suddenly dawned on me that this is actually quite possible or it should be possible and I tried it out and uh, yeah, it actually does work so now I'm going to show you uh, how to do that. Well what we have here is a very basic uh, grid instruments with uh, an oscillator and ADSR and a low pass filter which we now will attempt to modulate with serum. Okay first uh, select this polygrid instrument and group it and add a new serum instrument which will serve as a modulation source. Now we don't need the output, we just use it as a modulator, so make sure that the volume is down. And then we need to plug it into the grid, so go to I.O. and select an audio sidechain. I also want to have an oscilloscope so that I'm able to monitor what's, what's coming in. Connect it. And when I hit a note, nothing happens. Well, because I have not selected the input yet. Okay, instrument layer, serum, serum output. Okay, now we can see this. And now this signal is available in Bitwig as a modulation source. So I can connect it to the low pass filter to get some filter FM. But it is not yet that what we want. So let's open Serum to see what we can do. Well, one thing we can do is we can reduce this volume to zero and use an LFO to modulate the amplitude of the, of the filter. And okay, we can see that is actually already going in the direction we want, but we're not quite there. Now, the trick is that we can actually edit the oscillator shape and, and draw in here whatever we want. So I can just go here and draw in a signal, which is, well, now we are putting a, a direct current signal instead of an alternating signal. And now go back to the grid and see what happens. And that's basically already it. Um, that's all you need to do. Now it's hooked up and we can use Serum's output or its interpolation of this LFO curve as modulation signal within uh, all of Bitwig. I'm thinking, well, this is probably a bit too simple. Let's use some, some other output signal. This is a bit more complex. And we can see that this is exactly what's arriving here. And because Serum is in the same signal chain, it receives MIDI note. And when it's, yeah, you can sync it to tempo, obviously. You can sync it to uh, note on by enabling the trigger. Let's slow that down a little bit. Yeah, that's it. I hope you find it helpful. I uh, am really excited about this uh, uh, little thing I found out here because I love Serum and it's, uh, it's LFOs and I'm really excited to being able to use them uh, as modulation source um, in all my projects. So uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, see you next time, hopefully soon.
Okay, here's a little addendum. Um, I figured out why uh, the shapes, the, the yellow shapes, do not translate perfectly into Bitwig. I mean, they look different than an oscilloscope, and the reason for that is that they actually are. This knob here is works in decibels, and decibels are an exponential scale. Um, what we want, however, is a linear um, scale, because when you look at this LFO, it, it has a perfectly linear kind of sawtooth shape. Well, when I look at it here, it looks much more like a, a logarithmic um, curve. And to remedy that, we need to do a little math. We need to grab this uh, power module at a constant uh, exponent of 0 0.5 and then when I plug this in now it's perfectly linear. Well there's still a little problem we see this small spike here and I think that comes from the fact that when we reach zero in in serum actually for a fraction of a second this value drops below zero. Um, to remedy that I just added a where is it an absolute module that doesn't allow any values to be below zero and when I put this in front of the chain now it prefer uh, behaves exactly the way uh, we want to